the, uh, hello, the mere idea that you would uh, accept the possibility of the admonition given to you and the title of this event of my attempt to reassociate our correspondences with each other in this Course in Miracles uh, is a joyful idea within my mind because you were curious enough, uh, looking somewhere on the net or up at the satellites that are broadcasting this message of individual salvation, to inquire how the response would be to how to heal the sick and raise the dead. I'm here now at this time and place, as is what has been termed by this illusionary association of light form, a miracle healer. And if you'll stay with me for this first 27 minutes of reassociation of the energy of light form that apparently constitutes the illusionary nature of your location in space-time, I will, I promise you, demonstrate to you how to uh, heal the sick and raise the dead. We begin our practice episode with this idea. The idea of healing the sick and raising the dead comes from my Savior, and if you'll recognize him as yours, also yours, uh, in the New Testament, that uh, in, the, in John 5, go ye forth and heal the sick and raise the dead. We're very much aware of the idea that we have been instructed by this resurrected mind that we have the capacity to perform the acts in association with each other to laying down our defenses of an establishment of a new continuum of time. We call this being born again, in which we discover to our happy amazement that we are whole and perfect as we were created. With your permission, I'll get into the mechanisms by which you can recognize a process of the power of your mind to heal our momentary association with each other, okay, based on this space and this time in a single moment of revelation that allows you to view yourself in a new perspective of the wholeness of the molecular association that constitutes the illusion of your body. Say to me, uh, ask me to uh, teach you how to heal the sick and raise the dead. Say, teach me. Teach you what? how to heal the sick and raise the dead. Are you listening? I'm teaching you at this moment. It's important to remember within our Course in Miracles that Homo sapien, a human being, is always teaching. Can you hear this? He cannot not be teaching because he's always expressing what he has determined in his own relationship with himself in space-time. Who is he teaching? He believes he is teaching other faculties within the illusion of his correspondence of objective reality, which in effect are himself. The fundamental teaching that I am offering you in regard to my certainty of who you are cannot, and how to heal you, cannot not be placed or defined in any way except by the way in which I recognize myself in our relationship. This is the entirety of the offering of the Course in Miracles. All right. I'm teaching you and calling to your attention my certainty that you are self-ruler 
of everything that you see in this world. And that if the correspondence of your mind is in conflict and suffers the rage and agony of pain and death and the idea that you are separate from God, so will it be with you. And just as truthfully, as you begin to emerge from the idea that you were trapped in this illusion, the light of the universe will begin to shine on you. And that will be the factor of healing the sick in our body association. I'm calling to you in your own mind to recognize the initial responsibility for this world. This. I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience and I decide upon the goals I would achieve and everything that seems to happen to me I ask for and receive as I have asked. Deceive yourself no longer that you are helpless in the face of what is done to you. Acknowledge but that you have been mistaken and all effects of your mistakes will disappear. Look, it's impossible the Son of God be merely driven by events outside of him. It is impossible that happenings that come to him were not his choice. His power of decision is the determiner of every situation in which he seems to find himself by chance or accident. Why? No accident nor chance is possible within the universe as God created it, outside of which is nothing. Look, suffer and you decide that sin was your goal. Be happy and you gave the power of decision to him who must decide for God and for you in the mere prospect that you might be able to hear that with me is the joy I experience in my reassociation with myself as a continuing offering to you in what you term an advanced teacher of my certainty that uh, you're responsible for what you're seeing. This world is a choice of events that you have within your own aggregation of self-responsibility projected from ideas within your mind and demonstrating a drama that you intend to play out in the idea of the little small tight illusion of separation that constitutes the light form, the power of light the electromagnetic force of the generation of the entirety of creative reality pitifully replicated by that little idea about yourself. Listen carefully to me now. Here's a process of healing and it's about to occur. Say to me, everything is an idea within my own mind. Remember what we just read about the idea that you are reflecting back to yourself associations of what you think you are? Look with me about the new correspondence that's possible in the idea okay, that I am an image in your mind, are you listening, representing to you how you feel about yourself and this world. Yeah. Here's just a quick process of healing. Well, turn, turn to the guy and say, what did he say? What did he say? Uh, um, I think he said he loved me. Oh, he, he wouldn't dare take that step. Mm. He wouldn't dare take the single step that's necessary in the converting agencies of our recognition of the process of healing that's occurring at this moment. 